Welcome to the A to Z English podcast. My name is Jack and I'm here with my co-host Social. And today we are in the culture corner and we are talking about first dates and uh, in America and the dating <laughs> etiquette related to a first date. So just we're just focusing on the first date. And what is good dating etiquette for a first date? And Sochal, I'll let you kick it off because I know you've got probably your like five rules of uh, first dates <laughs> or something like that. No, I've actually never been on a first date in America. And I haven't been on a first date in like almost two years now. So, okay. but I I do have an idea of what's socially appropriate. Um, So I would say... Things have changed over time. Um, back in the day, I think it was like way more formal. Like the guy usually comes, picks you up at your house um, yeah. and you guys go somewhere together. And it's usually kind of like a longer, more serious affair. Like you might do dinner in a movie or like something more time consuming like that. Um, but nowadays it's a lot more casual. I mean, when I went on first dates here in Mexico, it's still quite like quite formal so mm -hmm. it was a similar kind of thing but in the U.S. I would say it's it's very casual now so someone might tell you like hey do you want to meet up somewhere they might still come pick you up especially if you can't drive and you're like a foreigner in the country and you don't know your way around um then I would say it's polite for them to pick you up at that point um and what was I gonna say um, yeah, I mean, I think those are the basics. Uh, and now what your first date activities are usually way more relaxed, like going out for a coffee or an ice cream or a drink, uh, alcoholic or non-alcoholic. And it's just a pretty relaxed kind of event. Um, what would you say, Jack? I, th I mean, I think we're having like, I think there are two different conversations to be had with this. I think the first one is traditional dating, which is almost gone now. And right. so Unless you're in another country, but in the US, yeah, it's like, gone. yeah, so because we're just we're just doing America right now. So in America, right. for our students who will be traveling to America or, or go to America someday, this is what you could would have expected about 20 years ago, or or 30 years ago. The if you're a female, the man asks you out, he calls you, he tells you, I'll pick you up at seven o'clock. He picks you up. He chooses the restaurant. You go to the restaurant. He pulls out your chair and then pushes your chair in. You know, so was that race. all really a thing back then? That's so crazy. Was, it is. You do. You did that. I wasn't you know? even born, I think, back when this was a thing. <laughs> you. <laughs> You don't put your elbows on the table. All the table manners, everything applies, you know, that we talked about last week. Put your napkin no in your lap. Your mouth you know? full, no talking with your mouth full. Sorry, nope. not no chewing with your mouth open, no talking with your mouth full, no burping, no slurping. No burping, no slurping. Um, at the end, uh, the man pays the bill. That's that's the tradition for the first date, is the man pays. Mm -hmm. Um after the date. You might go watch a movie or something like that. Uh, again, the man pays for the tickets because it's a first date. He asked you out. It's his responsibility to, um, you know, to pay. Um, and he drops you off at home and then he'll call you, you know, a day or two later or something if he wants to, you know, go out with you again. If it went well, if the conversation was terrible you you know he'll never call you again or you'll not answer your phone or whatever you know <laughs> you'll screen right. your calls um <laughs> now in the modern day it's just everything is like um sped up right it's like you have yeah. like tinder where you're swiping and then you go meet the person for a drink and if you don't hit it off meaning if you don't get along well in the first five or ten minutes you guys just both people are like, yeah, yeah I guess it's not going to be good. See you later. I don't think it's quite mm -hmm. that. I mean, I wish it was. I don't think it's quite that simplistic. I think it's kind of, I think it's similar. I think a lot of people meet on dating apps um, and it's, they're not seen as something inappropriate like they are in other countries. People don't use them for hookups, which means like just a, a casual thing. A lot of people develop formal relationships from 
Tinder and stuff like that in mm-hmm. the US actually. Um, but yeah, it's really common to meet on dating apps like Bumble, Tinder, and I don't know, there are there are a bunch, like a million of them. Um, yeah, it's before my time. Yeah. Yeah. And you might also meet uh through college. Like if you're going as an exchange student, like you might meet someone there or whatever, and the person will ask you to on a date. I think nowadays it's like less common to ask someone on a date and most guys are like, Hey, do you want to hang out? And that's a pet peeve of mine Mm -hmm. because you know, man up and ask me on a date. (laughs) If you want to go on a date, like don't be like, do you want to just men don't want to get rejected. So they'll still say something very ambiguous, you know, just like, Hey, do you want to hang out? And then if the the woman says, no, I don't want to, it's like, well, that's okay. Cause it wasn't a date anyway. I was just asking you to hang out. It's a like friend. a way to protect your ego, you know? Yeah, but it's so annoying. It's like, come on, man up. Um, So men will just kind of ask you, like, do you want to hang out? Do you want to go get a drink? Um, A lot of guys will say stuff like, what are you doing this weekend? Or like when stuff like that, a lot of times it's like precursor just asking you out. And then you'll just go for something simple, like a drink or a coffee. I don't I don't recommend going for a drink on a first date because like alcohol in the mix, like I just don't trust people I don't know that well. But it's a common thing. So if a guy mm. asks you out for drinks in the US, like don't be offended. Just maybe say, uh, I don't I don't drink much or something, and then plan something else. Um but uh That's yeah, go out advice. for coffee. Yeah, yeah go, go out for, for like coffee. a coffee, an yeah. ice cream, something to drink, go take a walk. It's usually pretty casual. And then um, say you have something to do after so that you can like weasel your way out <laughs> if it goes terribly. Like, oh, you know, I have like, I have this thing I have to go to later. But yeah, sure. I'd love to just meet up for a coffee or something. And then you have like some weasel room to get yeah. out of a bad date. I think everything's just been kind of like expedited more, you know, to be more yeah. efficient. It's just like, it's like speed dating now, you know, just uh, using an right. app, you go out, you know, on a Tuesday and on a Wednesday, a different person on a Thursday, a different person and on a Friday. And you just, you just keep, you <laughs> That's know, crazy. I've never done that, yeah. but I guess there are people who are like professional Tinder daters and go out pretty often. But um, yeah, I would say, uh don't be disappointed if it like fizzles out or something i think that's really common in the u.s and don't also be disappointed like you get home he doesn't text you and ask if you made it back okay he doesn't text you for like three days that's pretty normal in the u.s i know in other countries they're supposed to text you like right away like hey did you make it home okay and there's like supposed to keep texting you constantly (laughs) but that's no 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 that's not a thing in the u.s no it's that's called neediness and it's too uh yeah it's it's too overwhelming uh, overwhelming it can seem creepy if a guy is like if a u.s guy is doing that and he doesn't know that your culture is like really communicative or something like he might be a creep so like be careful because and also i would say you know if 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 you meet somebody and they do a more traditional approach where they ask you out on a date you know face to face that -hmm. person's got some integrity that might be a person that's much more a, be- a, a better uh, candidate for a relationship than some Tinder person. Yeah. You know, because yeah, if a person from, yeah, like from a class or something asks you out. Yeah. They definitely have a, have some backbone. Sure. They have some backbone. And also I'll tell you what, men, uh, men plan the first date, like just take the initiative. We're going here at this time. Then we're going to go here at this time and do this thing. Don't mm-hmm. at, don't be like, uh, you know, let the woman say, so what do you want to do? And you're, you're like, well, I don't know. What do you want to do uh, that? Women hate that. They hate it uh, passionately. <laughs> they want you to take the initiative and decide where to go, what time, where you're going. It will make you look if you're if let's say your appearance is like a six or a seven. Um, if you take initiative, you could be an eight or a nine, like, you will yeah. it'll, it'll raise you up uh, two two points. Yeah. Um, okay. How about some dating don'ts on a first date? I would say yeah. don't go to the movies because you have like no chance to talk. Can't talk. Right. Can't talk. Can't get to know someone. Right. Don't do like a long, don't in, in modern day, don't do a commitment, like going to dinner in a movie or something like long form because 
if you don't like the person, it's like hard to get out of the date. You got to finish the meal, and it's just like yeah, a, it's like a torture. Really yeah, yeah, horrible. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, don't don't well, talk about yourself too much. Ask questions. Listen. You know. Yeah. yeah. For men, that's important. For women, don't reveal too much information about yourself. Yeah. Uh, because you just never know when a man's gonna be a psycho. <laughs> yeah, and uh, don't you talk really... about exes. Don't talk about your former relationships. Oh, right. Don't talk about your pri prior relationships. Just you're like vetting this person like a job interview. So just like get to know them. Like what is their job, or if they're a student, like what's their major, and what are your mm -hmm. common interests. Like just keep it lighthearted. And uh, what are some other dating don'ts? I would say nowadays always offer to pay. The person who asks the other person on the date should pay. I still think yes. that's modern day. Yeah. But uh, as a woman, it's fine to offer to pay for your half or whatever. And um, But if a woman offers to pay for your for her half, don't let her. Yeah, don't. Find... Unless she's like uncomfortable and she seems like she really, really wants to pay because she wants to get out of this as soon as fast as possible. Well, then maybe, but. Even then, I would say, like, if if you like choose a restaurant, you can afford right. to pay for both people. So don't choose a super nice restaurant if you're if you don't have a lot of money. Choose a right. restaurant that you can afford to pay for both both you and and the person you're asking out. Don't choose and an expensive restaurant and then expect her to pay half of her uh meal. of her meal. Her it's, meal it's, to cover her costs. Yeah, it's, it's really it, it's really ugly. That's it looks bad. It's really it does yeah don't go uh to like don't take a lady out to mcdonald's or like something you know no what I mean? like, those are not so, that does not count that's not a you date. can get a cheap you can like plan a date that's affordable um other places like look for little spots and cafes and things that have like reasonable prices like local yep. prices and or just plan something cheap like going for an ice cream or getting a coffee if that's what you can afford but don't um take her to like mcdonald's or like a fast food chain or you something. can get a great sandwich pl restaurant that is that is pri that is privately owned by by just like a, a you know a small business owner where they make like great sandwiches shop. yeah that are that'll cost you the same or less than mcdonald's you know right so please don't take a lady out to yeah. mcdonald's on the first date yeah. and uh what other don'ts don't have them meet your parents or something on the first date that would be absolutely crazy that's crazy don't um, smoke if you're a smoker don't, don't smoke that's don't get nasty. drunk on a first date for don't women for safety for men it just looks bad you know what i mean yeah. don't don't do that um don't show up late people care a lot about being punctual in the u.s even as a woman like women have a little more leeway to be a little bit late don't be more than 15 minutes late especially without letting the person know because here in mexico a woman can be anywhere from like two hours late <laughs> don't do that in the u.s the guy's gonna be long gone um it just shows respect for other people's time and that you can yeah. be on time and you're a punctual reliable person yeah. um so be on time and don't wear a ripped t-shirt and a pair pair of jogging shorts or something like that yeah you don't know? go looking you know weird in the u.s it's true that we dress really casually but yeah. you still want to look nice and casual for a first date so like women if you don't know what to wear and men if you don't know what to wear look up first date outfits on youtube um for youtubers that are based in the u.s and a lot of that will just give you like a good idea about what you can wear yeah yeah, yeah. All right. I think that pretty much concludes our first date etiquette for America. If you guys have any further questions about what dating etiquette is like in America, please shoot us an email at a to z English podcast at gmail.com. We would love to answer your questions. This is a really fun topic for us. Leave a comment down below. That really helps with visibility. And we love to answer your comments as well at a to z English podcast.com. And join the WeChat and WhatsApp groups to join the conversation. You can ask us anything directly there and Jack and I will answer. We will see you guys next time. Bye bye. Bye-bye.